Apple recently released its latest Apple TV streaming box called Apple TV 4K 2022. Interestingly, it's not the first 4K compatible box from the company, but it's easily the best. It's faster, smaller, and by Apple's standard, unbelievably cheaper. So in today's video, we'll be reviewing the Apple TV 4K 2022 to help you decide if it should be your next TV box. And for all of you that already own it, we might even show you some features you didn't know about, but really should. For more information and the most updated price, check the link in the description box below. In terms of pricing, this new Apple TV 4K is a better deal than its predecessors. Its base configuration has 64 gigabytes of storage, up from 32 gigabytes in the second generation Apple TV 4K. Better yet, that 64 gigabyte model starts at $129, compared to $179 for the old 32 gigabyte model. What's more, you can double the storage to 128 gigabytes for another $20 at $149. The 128 gigabyte model also features a physical ethernet port. The base configuration relies completely on Wi-Fi and support for the ThreadSmart home networking standard. Thread support is pretty nice and most people won't need ethernet either. Also, the Apple TV 4K does not download videos, it only streams them. So unless you're planning to download dozens and dozens of games, you won't really need the 128 gigabytes of storage. In other words, the $129 64GB model is the right pick for most people. Overall, this drop in price is the most important thing about the third generation model. The Apple TV 4K has been one of the best streaming boxes and you can buy it for at least a couple of years now. But it has always cost a lot more than other market leading streaming boxes like Google, Amazon or Roku, making for a questionable value proposition. The new model is still more expensive than those competitors, which do an admirable job of streaming video in 4K and HDR, so the cost conscious will still want to steer clear of this one. I'll get into why the extra cost may still be worth it for many people shortly. It's worth noting though that there is no HDMI cable included in the box, something you might want to take into consideration when budgeting. In terms of design, eagle-eyed upgraders will notice four small changes from the previous Apple TV 4K. The Apple TV 4K 2022 is smaller all around at 3.7 by 3.7 by 1.2 inches, as the 2021 model measures 3.9 by 3.9 by 1.4 inches. Apple also shrunk the branding, cutting the TV out of the top side's branding, which now only includes an Apple logo. The Fire TV Cube 2022, which is 3.4 by 3.4 by 3.0 inches, is taller and slimmer, while the Roku Ultra, which is 4.9 by 4.9 by 0.9 inches, is wider yet shorter. The entry-level Apple TV 4K only has power and HDMI ports on the back, while the $149 Wi-Fi plus Ethernet model has, you guessed it, an Ethernet port which was standard on 2021's $179 and $199 models on the back. That's a gigabit Ethernet port, which is faster than the 10 over 100 megabits per second ports on the Roku Ultra and Fire TV Cube. The 4K Chromecast and Roku Streaming Stick 4K don't have Ethernet ports. All in all, the Apple TV 4K could really use a USB-C port on the back for charging its Siri remote and potential webcam integrations for future upgrades of synchronous group watches via FaceTime SharePlay. And now that Amazon's added an extra HDMI port to the Fire TV Cube, I can't help but think any streaming device over $100 should offer that to those of us who have multiple gaming consoles and a DVD player. The next biggest upgrade after price is the Apple's A15 Bionic system on chip that replaces the A12 Bionic chip from the 2021 model. This is the same chip that powered the iPhone 14, iPad mini, and the iPhone SE, and it's faster than the A14 and A13 in the iPad 2022 and the iPad 2021. This much power makes me wonder if Apple's got more plans for the Apple TV 4K than just streaming and casual gaming. 
call this a victory for anyone who loathes lagging. Apple claims that this chip can offer up to 50% faster CPU performance, up to 30% faster GPU performance, and up to 20% faster app load times versus the 2021 Apple TV Plus, and 200% versus the now retired Apple TV HD. So if speedy app load times really matters to you, the Apple TV 4K 2022 is probably the best choice. The big news about picture quality in this year's Apple TV 4K is the additional support of the eye-popping HDR 10 Plus set right on top of the beloved Dolby Vision, the metadata-driven standard for improved contrast. Your TV may or may not support it, though new models such as the Samsung S95B OLED and the Hisense U8H do. Either way, it's a good feature to have to keep the Apple TV 4K 2022 future-proof. Currently, HDR 10 Plus support is found in Amazon Prime video content, Blu-rays, and the Apple TV app. The addition of HDR10 Plus brings the Apple TV 4K 2022 in line with all of its competitors. HDR10 Plus isn't new, but its relatively late arrival to the Apple TV 4K is credited to the new A15 chip. Already bought into the Apple ecosystem? Well, did you know how easy it is to connect your AirPods with the Apple TV 4K? If not, then allow me to indulge you in a little adventure. Switch on your treasured Apple TV. Find yourself an AirPod. Connect them both. Wear the AirPods on and bam, you're listening wirelessly. And guess what? That's not all. Apple has introduced the dual device output feature that enables you to connect two audio devices to your TV box. Before we continue, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future breakdown videos. You may pay more for the Apple TV 4K because of TV OS a much cleaner interface than any of its competitors. Its all apps approach to the home screen lets you fill your screen with upwards of 20 apps, well, all of 15 and most of four, at the same time. Plus, you get to personalize it whichever way you like. By comparison, the Fire TV OS home screen only shows up a small sliver of your apps, six of them I should note. Chromecast with Google TV 4K has seven apps at once, most of its home screen is filled with recommended or advertised content, while Roku lets you see nine apps and half of the next three at a time. Folks who pay for all of the best streaming services and also use other apps will appreciate that. Also, those like myself who want to control their device will be happy they're not surrendering their screen to ads. Undoubtedly the killer feature the Apple TV 4K 2022's App Store is stocked with every single app you could ask for. So, on top of all the best streaming services, Netflix, HBO Max, Hulu, Peacock, Sling, etc., you can also do Apple Fitness Plus workouts on your TV. Look at your iCloud photo library, shared photo albums as well if you have them, and even sing along to music using the lyrics in Apple Music. What's more, all of the other streaming services and apps are here too, like Spotify, Twitch, Criterion Channel, Crunchyroll, Vimeo, and so on. Here, there are full-fledged apps for Cineaste streamer Mubi and UK content hub BritBox, which on the Fire TV are only available as Prime Video channels, which requires a Prime subscription. Roku isn't lacking much that Apple has, but Apple does have Letterboxd, the social media network for movie lovers. There is one exception though. The Apple TV 4K doesn't have the Roku channel, which you'll need to watch Weird, the Al Yankovic story, and other Roku hosted content. Can you give that up? You could mirror your Mac or iPhone screen, but an app would be better. Also, there are games, those included in the Apple Arcade membership and those you pay for. Apple also offers smart home integrations, so you can get picture-in-picture -picture live views of HomeKit cameras, control of matter, and HomeKit accessories. tvOS's multiple user support means the TV app offers user-specific content in the TV app. A for all of you row in the app that presents recommendations that all users will be interested in, and a shared with you row with content shared with you in the Messenger app. A future update will add voice recognition that personalizes recommendations depending on who asks Siri for help. All in all, there are still cheaper streaming boxes available, and every television nowadays comes with a smart TV built in. But if you want a simple, reliable, and high-quality streamer, the third-gen Apple TV 4K is really putting up a fight to the all-time champion, the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. It is very fast. It has the broadcast catalog of streaming apps available, which are typically better than on any other platform, too. 
It supports all of the key video formats and Dolby Atmos, and there aren't any adverts cluttering up your home screen. It is particularly good if you're an Apple user already. While you can use it without an iPhone or iPad, there are easier options for Android users from Amazon and Google. Don't buy this if you have a perfectly good Apple TV currently running fine. It runs the same software with most of the same features, but if you're sick of a poor smart TV interface and want a premium experience to deliver the quality content you already pay for, this is it. For more information and updated price, check the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out the previous comparison between the Apple TV 4K and the Nvidia Shield Pro.